Aaron. Return unto me, O, o Israel, for I am married unto you. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah um, 3.14. <clears throat> it says, Return, faceless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband. I will choose you, one from a town and two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. This is literally a description of Christ on Rapture Day. And this is what it's saying. Revelation 9, 7. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come. And the bride has made herself ready. <clears throat> Those that he chooses. Excuse me. Of course will be those that have kept their lamps burning. And have kept the oil. And in this is what I want to talk to you about. Is the parable of the ten virgins. And the point is... When the devil offers you something, he there is always a string attached. The devil's string is let your lamps go out. You don't need any of this oil. You don't have to go to church all the time. Where is it written that you have to love going to church? You can be a Christian without going to church. You know? Build them muscles, boys. Get yourself looking mean. Go out and learn to knock people out. Make your own way in life. Force your way through. Con your way. Lie your way. Listen. Hey, if you can get it, if you got the right key, you can open any door. If you tell a lie big enough, which is Hillary Clinton's ideal of how to make it through life, you can rule the world. <laughs> and this this is what the devil offers. The devil went down to Georgia seeking for a soul to steal. And that song it says, uh, this might be a sin, but I'm going to take your bet because I'm the best it's ever been. There's a string attached to this deal. The string is you have to you have to begin to sin to play the fiddle. You have to sin. He give you you, you know. There's a lot of people got the golden fiddle. Look what I've done, man! I beat the devil. No, you haven't beat anybody. There are several strings attached to that golden fiddle. You begin to pull that string out. Little bitty thing look like it just, you know, not much to it. But the bigger you pull, the, the, the bigger the string gets. After a while, you're... I didn't know the And it will completely engulf your wisdom. It will completely engulf your wisdom and everything that you know and become a part of everything that you are. The devil has a string attached, believe me, to everything that he gives. Everything. There is godly men that do violence to those who would harm us. But Christians never go out looking for trouble like Muslims do. They never go out looking for trouble. They never start the fight. But the Bible tells us if God is with us, who can be against us? We have to have men ready to fight evil around this world. Until the Lord comes back on Judgment Day, until He comes back, there have to be men ready. Just like Winston Churchill said, he said, there are rough men standing ready 
to inflict violence on those who would seek to do us harm. That's the reason we sleep comfortable in our bed at night. So says Winston Churchill. The man understood the Bible. The man understood Christianity. And it's not wrong to protect yourself, and it's not wrong to protect your family. It's not wrong to go out and buy an AK-47 because there are criminals out there who have AK-47s. And there is no string attached. Well, yeah, there is. God has a string attached. But it's a string that will lead you to prosperity rather than ruin. Listen to this. Here's God's string right here. Ecclesiastes 4.12 Through one may be overpowered, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. King James says, If one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a three-fold cord is not quickly broken. It's, it's the three-fold cord that God wants to create in our lives that causes men to, the evil men to step back and take a look. Look what it said. One has overpowered him. With, one, with only a weakness, you're showing not much strength. You're showing that it's possible for you to be defeated. Listen, I love those signs that you put on the outside of your wall, your window and the door. It says, this house is protected by Smith & Wesson. <laughs> I like that sign that says, trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. It lets you know this is not a weak place and you need not come here or you'll pay the price. People used to understand that about America. They used to understand that about America. But now America with with this clown running America and with another clown right behind him trying to get in a communist weak-minded failing position look at look at the communist positions none of them work they all trample on the citizens of their country all of them do there's absolutely no all they do is take and they never give back democracy gives back God is a democracy among the people God is a God is a dictator in delivering democracy to the people. If you don't understand that, you don't know you don't know who God is. See, socialism will only work if the guy at the top is perfect. If the guy at the top is perfect. If the guy at the top is perfect. You know, I've said that three times but atheists still can't hear it. <laughs> Somehow it passes right by them. If the guy running the show is perfect, it'll work. There is none of those here. There is none of those here. Nobody, not a single man ever born or ever will be born, is able to sit in God's place and deliver socialism as it should be delivered. Socialism corrupts the heart of of the flesh of men because of the greed factor because of the greed factor and it is a string there's a string attached there's a string attached to socialism this string will become harder and harder and harder to bear and you will never you will never get out from under the debt of socialism look at Detroit City if socialism was going to work in America, 
we should see some signs of Detroit City growing, but it's not. They pump billions of dollars into that city. Free money. Throwing it in. Where is it? Where's the prosperity that it's supposed to show? If socialism works. It's like pouring it down a drain. It's like pouring it down a drain. And that's the place that the devil wants to lead you. And what he's doing. With these strings attached to to things that he's offering. He wants you to make it, but uh, uh, you think that you can make it. He's offering you the golden fiddle. He's wanting you to say, man, I can do this. I can do this on my own. We can't. Listen, without God, we are hopelessly lost. Man has no future without God. Look at this. Ecclesiastes 4.12 No, that's not it. Jeremiah 3.14. Yeah, there, there it is right there. It says, Return, faithless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband. I will choose you. I will choose you. One from a town, two from a clan or a people, and bring you to Zion. And bring you to Zion. Those who will. That's what the Lord said. Be it says, those who will, let him come. Those who will, let him come. King James says it like this, turn, old backsliding children. This is the Lord's declaration. He's talking to the whole earth. He's talking to the whole, whole earth. For I am your... Ah, uh, for I am your... Um, I lost King James. For I am married unto you. And I will take you one from a city, two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. You know what Zion is? Heaven. Heaven. The ways of men always look good. Always look good. Seeming like that's the way to go. Money doesn't keep you. Ideals of a, of a perfect president is not exactly what this world, what our country and our world need. The, the, the man at the top leading us in, in, in what our fleshly desires can or cannot do. Those are great things, but that is not what keeps us. You can have the perfect example of a man and still go right down the drain. That's better. <laughs> it's better to have a good guy at the top. But that's not what keeps us. What keeps us is remembering who we are, where we came from, and remember the strings that are tasked to lead us in the direction that we would go. One string will lead you. Listen, a person can be two, two kids raised up in the same house, eat at the same table, have the same mom and dad, go to the same church, watch the same TV, go to the same school, learn all the same subjects, have all the same friends. And one will be a murderer, and the other one, spend, you know, he'll be a murderer and spend all his life in prison. One can be a preacher and change the world. Because of the string that he grabs a hold of. Whose string? Whose cord that you use, that you choose? We can choose to let go and let God do his work in our lives. That's how we get and so we, that's how you make heaven your home keeping your lamps full the oil of God keeping your light shining you know what it means to keep your light shining keep the spirit of God within you your lamp burning God will not this same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead the Bible tells us this same spirit shall also raise you on that day that spirit is your light in you we feed, we fill our oil when we go to church. It's God's filling station. We fill the lamp with God's filling station. We let our light so shine before men. Listen, 
if that light is not burning within you, you will be left behind on judgment on rapture day. Amen. All right, God bless. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time. Another great message right here across the middle of ministry.